If you're looking for a brand new construction home, three bedrooms, two bath, two car garage on over half an acre lot with no HOA, no CDD, well then look no further because I got you. Alexis Diaz and I'm Central Florida's real estate advisor. My passion is helping people evolve in real estate so I take you all around Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale, homes, investment opportunities, local shops, restaurants, and so much more. So like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos. Today we are back in Ocala, Florida where I'm about to show you this brand new construction home, three bedrooms, two baths, almost 1500 square feet two car garage on over half an acre do you see this long driveway you can fit at least four cars plus two that go in the garage now this house just came on the market it's not completely finished yet we still have to put the grass in the appliances are not in yet but I wanted to show you so that you have first chance on getting this home now stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll go over all of the prices some financing options I do have some special guess for you now let's go thank you wow this is such a beautiful house as you walk into this home you are greeted with an open floor plan so to my left is the family room now on this wall it's where the cable line is I don't necessarily know that I would put the TV on this wall just because it kind of limits on where you can put the sofa so me personally I think I would put it here the TV here because then you can have an L-shaped sofa and you can um, the light is not reflecting off the TV. So if you put it there, you're gonna constantly have the light on the TV. So maybe you could put it there, but again, it's up to you. That's what is something that I would do. So as we're walking in, you see these um, vinyl packing flooring. There's no carpet in this house. Here is where your dining table would be. You can definitely fit a six seat um, table or even an eight seat if you have like a rectangular um, table. It's up to you, but there is definitely enough space for a big table. So here, let's go check out the backyard. What I really like about this back patio is that it has a long slab of concrete. It also has an entry door to the master bedroom, which is really nice. Look at this backyard. There's more than enough room for a pool, uh, even if you wanted to add more concrete, a patio set, a trampoline, whatever you want, there's more than enough room here. It's just, if it just is so quiet. I really like this. Um, also, they, again, the house is not completely finished, so they are gonna add the grass, but just envision the grass here, the kids playing, or you're having a family barbecue, you gotta invite me so this is the backyard absolutely stunning let's go back into the house and show you the rest of it Welcome to the beautiful kitchen. thank you Kit Kat. this is such a beautiful kitchen look at this island it's quartz countertop it has a single stainless steel sink I love islands it reminds me of being back home i'm from puerto rico i'm also from dominican republic and i was born and raised in staten island new york so when i look at islands it just reminds me of being back home family togetherness so this is a beautiful island white quartz we have some drawers here they are soft clothes which is super exciting you have you have two cabinets here so one underneath the sink an extra one right here and then you have a drawer so the appliances are not in this house just yet but you will get the refrigerator you'll get the microwave and the stove electric stove and you'll get the dishwasher again this house is not completed just yet only a few more weeks but I wanted to show you guys this so that you have first dibs there's the counter space these are 30 inch um, white cabinets so you have room here for your cups, your plates, here you go, we can show them. 
I also like the cabinets on the bottom. You have more than enough space there, super deep. You have the drawers here. So your electric stove will go here, the microwave is gonna go there, and then you have your refrigerator. This right here, let me see, the refrigerator, you could use this as a little coffee station if you would like to. I wanna show you the pantry. It is a nice size, there's no shelves in it just yet. But just look how big this pantry is. As you can see, that looks like it's gonna be one, two, three, four shelves. So more than enough space. You don't even have to add any more shelvings to maximize. Let's go check out the laundry room here. So the laundry room is right off of the kitchen. The washer and dryer would go here. It does not come with the home, but like I always say, it just gives you the opportunity to choose whichever one you like. You have a shelf up here that you can add your uh, detergents there. You can also take that out and add cabinets as well. This is locked. Here is your two car garage. This is where your water heater is and your HVAC system and your electrical panel. It already comes with the garage door opener, which is really nice. That's something that you don't even have to worry about. A lot of the new construction homes do not come with garage door openers, so I really like that. Um, you could use this for your two cars or you could use this as storage and park your cars out on the driveway because there is more than enough room. What I, wa what I wanted to also add so that I don't forget is that the house comes with the hardware and the cabinets, which is really nice because a lot of the new construction homes do not come with hardware and you would open it like this, right? Oh, it's self-closed again. Um, so you would open it like that or you would have to add that afterwards. So that's something that you don't have to worry about. You also get these lights here. Like what you see is what you get. This home is for sale. We have recessed lighting and we have a vaulted ceiling, which just gives you that open, um, concept it doesn't feel cluttered in here so this home has a split floor plan which means is that the bedrooms um, besides the master bedroom is on one side of the house and then the master bedroom is on the opposite side of the house so let's go check out this side of the house where we're gonna find two bedrooms and one bathroom that the those two bedrooms share welcome to bedroom number one so this is bedroom number one it is facing the front of the house. No carpet in this house whatsoever. You have the ceiling fan already there, so you don't have to worry about that. But look at this walk-in closet. It has one of these um, hideaway doors, which I really like because it doesn't take up room or any space. So, all right guys, you know how I always say, we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna have to add some more shelves in here. Um, maybe even like a customized closet insert to maximize the space because that is, I don't, I don't think that's gonna cut it, but it definitely has enough room for you to um, make this kind of your own and maximize the space. So let's go check out the full bathroom that these two bedrooms share. Just keep in mind, remember there's no door handle. It's still under construction but I wanted to show you first. So let's see this um, full bathroom. So right here is where you have the single sink, you have the shower tub combination, you have the towel that goes all the way up to the ceiling, which is really nice. You have the white quartz countertops, you also have the white cabinets just like what you see in the um, kitchen. You're gonna have a mirror there as well. Again, guys, this is still under construction, but I wanted to show you so that you get first dibs. Now let's look at bedroom number two, which is gonna face the back of the house. Welcome to bedroom number two. So as you walk into this bedroom, you'll see that it's facing the backyard. Um, you also have the ceiling fan in here as well. You do have the same closet with the pocket door, as you can see. It is walk-in. Um, however, again, you would probably have to add more shelving 
and just make sure that you maximize it. You could go to Ikea, you could get it done in Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever you would like, but I don't know if that's gonna cut it. What do you guys think? Is that big enough? Is that closet big enough for either if your kid is in this room or guests? I don't know, you tell me in the comments if you think that that shelf is sufficient. So I wanna show you the opposite side of the house, which we're gonna find the master bedroom. So come on. So we're on the opposite side of the house, off of the kitchen. Remember the pantry's right here. This is the master bedroom. So we are going to check it out. All right, so this is the master bedroom. Again, there is no carpet. You have the uh, ceiling fan, the window. Um, this room faces the backyard. You also do have access to the backyard through this room. So I do really like that if you wanna just have a cup of coffee outside, that's great. Let's check out this master closet, which it is pretty big. Come check this out. It's deep, it's an L-shape master um, closet. Again, I would definitely just add more um, shelving, maybe some cubbies, just to kind of maximize the space, but it is a really good space that you can make it your own. So let's go check out the master bathroom, which I definitely think you guys are gonna like. It has two sinks, which is nice. Quartz countertop, you have the white drawers, which I really like. They're all soft clothes. I love, 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 love these middle drawers. They're super deep. You can add so much. I definitely would take up all of this. I'll give my husband this and I'll take all of that. So you have a step-in shower. Um, you have tiling all the way to the top of the ceiling, which is really nice. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to add a door or if it's, you know, if you add that in later. I would have to find that out for you. But it has some really nice tiling on the floor as well. But this is the step-in master shower. It is a nice size. So this is your master uh, bathroom. Again, no mirrors. It's not completed yet but just have that envision what it's going to look like. This is a great size master bedroom. I really do like that there's no carpets throughout the home, but that's just my opinion, right? What do you guys like? Do you like carpets in the house or you know, do you prefer the carpets in the bedrooms? Comment below because I would really like to know. Let's go back to the kitchen while I'll go over all of the details, come on. All right, guys, we are back in the kitchen. You guys know it's my favorite place to be. I had my special guest in this video. These are my six children, the loves of my life. They just make this video a hundred times better, and I'm super happy to be able to have them included in my video. So everybody say bye, because I have to talk some important details. Bye. bye. I wanted to go over the property details again. We're in a brand new 2023 home, three bedrooms, two baths, two car garage, almost um, 1,500 square feet. So this is a beautiful house on a great lot. The um, axing price for this home is $279,900, and the seller is offering $10,000 towards closing costs, which is really good. It keeps some money in your pocket. So the um, no HOA, no CDD, and the property taxes are an estimate, and I'm going to say it's around $35 to $4,500 per year. But again, that's just an estimate because when it comes to new construction, the first year of the home, um, the first year that you live in the home, the the um, property taxes is only based on the land, so they're super low. And then when you go to the second year, then they go higher. So if you're gonna use this as a primary residence, then you can file for the Florida Homestead Tax Exemption, which basically is a tax discount off your um, property taxes, which makes a big difference. This home qualifies for a USDA loan, which is really nice because that's 100% financing. All you have to worry about is the closing costs, but the seller is offering $10,000 towards closing costs, which is maybe 
not if not almost of the closing cost. So just reach out to me and we can figure out if you would qualify for a USDA loan. If you want to talk about some financing, FHA is normally for the first time home buyers. It, it can only be used for primary residents. 580 is the minimum credit score and 3.5% of the purchase price is the minimum down payment. Now you also have a conventional loan which 620 is the minimum credit score and for first time home buyers, the minimum down payment is 3% of the purchase price or um, if you're not a first time home buyer, then it's 5%. The biggest difference between an FHA and conventional um, loan is that when you reach 20% of equity in your conventional loan, then you can call the bank and say, hey, can we take off the private mortgage insurance? And they're gonna be like, yep, with FHA, the private mortgage insurance lasts for the life of the loan. So that's something just to keep in mind. And you also have VA, 100% financing, and then you have the USDA loan, which is 100% financing. Those, um, the requirements for the USDA loans are um, very tight. So again, that's something that you can call me and I'll get you with my preferred mortgage broker and we can see if you qualify for that. Where are we in Ocala? We are in a community called Marion Oaks. This is a really big community, no HOA, no CDD. We are about 25 minutes to downtown Ocala where you'll find some really good restaurants. My favorite, favorite candy shop, it's um, Grandpa Joe's Candy Shop. I absolutely love it, the kids love it too. You have some really good bakeries, you have a nice uh, sushi and steakhouse place. We're not too far away from Heathbrook Plaza as well, about 25 minutes um, to Heathbrook Plaza where you're gonna find a lot of shopping, such as Ulta, um, Marshalls, Home Goods, Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, we have, what else is there? Uh, Epic Movie Theaters, a lot of eatery as well. So there's a lot of things to do in the Ocala area. You have the World Equestrian Center. If you didn't know, Ocala is known as the horse capital of the world. Um, we have a lot of springs here. We're about to have Bucky's gas station. If you don't know about Bucky's, come talk to me. It's a 120 gas pump gas station. And it's kind of like a mini supermarket where they have the best brisket, the best pulled pork sandwiches, and the candied nuts, and the beef jerkies. It sounds so good. We only have two right now. We have one in Daytona Beach and one in St. Augustine. So we're about to have one here in Ocala, which I'm super excited about. Again, it's my passion to help you guys evolve in real estate. So if this area doesn't work for you or this floor plan doesn't work for you, but you want to work with me, reach out to me. I can find what you're looking for and stay tuned to my next video.